there is no problem whatsoever in the in, in speaking English as a second language, right? <coughs> like myself. I speak Arabic as a first language. Everybody has a first language. So if you speak English as a first language, you speak Arabic as a second language. But when you when you feel a little bit of discomfort that you 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 know you, you want to look like as if you're native, and then you work on improving your accent. Before you improve your vocabulary, or you try to improve your vocabulary before you improve the, your grammar, the, the structure of the sentence itself. When the structure of the sentence is messed up and you're trying to really perfect the accent, does it look right? Does it sound right? It doesn't. And people will, will actually not be impressed. That is to say. That is also the case with Wara. So Imam Ahmad used to use his own ink. <coughs> he would bring his ink pot from home, and when he wrote, wrote he used his own ink. And he wouldn't use anyone else's ink. And someone else came ne and sat next to him, and he asked him for permission to, you know, the students of knowledge and the scholars and so on, he used to <coughs> not find the problematic to use your neighbor's ink. They would take from each other, ink from each other. So that was like the custom. You know, it takes a, so, because everybody got his little pencil and then they would dip it in the ink and to write. So I would use some of your ink, and there was no problem. You know, Ahmed himself would, not, would never do that. But the, out of wara. So someone sat next to him, and then he asked him permission for using his ink. So Imam Ahmad said to him, Lam yablu if'al, lam yablu wara'i wala wara'u kibbat. Aw laysa wara'i wala wara'u kibbat. Go ahead. My wara'a and your wara'a is not at that level. Certainly Imam Ahmad tried to be humble, because his wara'a was at that level. But he's telling that person, he just, he slowed down a little bit. You know, make sure that you avoid all forbidden things before you act to what? Uh, avoid the prohibitions, the clear cut prohibitions. So build from the bottom up, not from the top down. Don't try to perfect, you know, your look, your, your, your attitude, your this, to act like someone from, you know, the second century, uh, you know, to, we act to with uh, humbleness and attitude and walk like Ahmed ibn Hanbal and or speak like him or something of that nature. Don't do it when you're, there is nothing down there. There is no foundation. Build from the bottom up. Put, put the foundation and work on the flights one by one. First, second, third. Because if you go from the top down, your building will be so unstable and it will collapse at the first test, or first uh, try. So, work from the bottom up, meaning avoid the prohibitions first, before you avoid the dubious matter. Uh, and take it from there, and, you know, rise up in the stations of Wara, without fakeness. You know, be true with yourself.